Drought conditions and extreme weather are a bad combination when it comes to fire. And it's not just a problem in faraway places. As 6 News' Brent Weber shows us new tonight, urban areas are becoming more susceptible to wildfire. Fire does not respect property lines. Michelle Foss has battled it personally, the wildland urban interface. Towns and neighborhoods even feeling heat at unprecedented levels. People in the Omaha area haven't really had to experience that as as acutely as say our western Nebraska neighbors have experienced but it's something that we're starting to see more of an issue with now uh, the fire that uh, was here last year started in Bellevue and it started by neighborhoods so that's that's not something that you expect to have happen in a city we held it for a while that day but we had wind gusts and we had tired people and you know, that night we had embers kick across and it kept going. Stoked by environmental extremes, even brush fires can threaten private and public spaces as we saw recently near Ponca Hill. So in the wildland urban interface, you may have landscaping issues that once compromised by fire or even just age, it could cause problems if firefighters had to go in there. So local, state and national voices are urging us to make a plan, even if we've never done it before. So there's a national program called FireWise that has some specifications for making your house defensible against wildfire. In the state of Nebraska, most counties are included in a community wildfire protection plan that uh, the Nebraska Forest Service has collaborated with different counties to prepare. The U.S. Forest Service isn't just focusing on the West, recently announcing plans to send $1.5 million to Nebraska, Colorado, South Dakota, and Wyoming to reduce wildfire risks to communities. We like to say we are students of fire. We're always learning. We will never be smarter than the fire. What we all need to understand is it's no longer just the job of those who manage the land to be the stewards of it. It's also the job of those who are neighbors to that nature. On your side at Fontenelle Forest, Brent Weber, 6 News. And those resources Brent mentioned, we'll have links for you in this story on our website, wowt.com.